Hello everyone, this is my Samsung LCD TV uh, which has developed a fault. It no longer can find any Wi-Fi. Uh, it randomly freezes, the menus don't work um, but if you turn it off and leave it off for a little while and back on again it works fine for probably 10 minutes and then freezes again. So it's either overheating, the capacitors are leaking or a n other fault but this TV is two years old it's just over two, probably two years and no it's exactly no, yeah. might actually be two and a half years old now but anyway it's still a relatively new TV it's a smart 3d TV um, I'll put the model number in the link I'm going to pull it apart I've already bought uh, a replacement main board for it because that seems to be a common failure but I'm going to pull it apart and see actually what the hell is going on so stay tuned so here we are again now, so the back cover is off the TV there's probably 16 screws it takes five minutes this is a replacement PCB I've bought this is my original PCB Identical in every way, except for a slight um, serial number change, which could well be one's newer or older. Screw missing there. Why is your screw missing? Oh, it goes through the case. Okay. Uh, so you can see that's the power button and a menu joystick, a speaker, which just clips on, uh, LCD controller right hand speaker, the power board is there all the caps look good, the regulators look good, everything looks good there's no problem that I can see so I'm just going to change the basically the main board and see if that cures any problems ok let's see how we get on so now we have the board replaced, this is the um, new board or replacement board and that is back in the position it should be, back in, in, back in the TV, at the back of the TV. Um, it's simply five screws to remove, unclip the cables, which are all nice and easy. You can't possibly get it wrong. Um, so ready for reassembly and a little test. So let's see how we get on. So here is the TV with the new main board plugged in. Uh, it's found Wi-Fi for the first time in months. It's connected to the Wi-Fi. Now it's updating the apps on the TV. It just asked me if I wanted to run the Samsung update, and I said no. Uh, I'm a little weary of the Samsung updates. I think they might be bricking smart TVs. But I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, it's connected instantly to the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it's updating apps as it goes along. So... Once it gets YouTube on there, I can log into my account and everything should be back to normal. So that is well worth buying a main board for these Samsung TVs if you lose Wi-Fi, uh, which I did. Um, I sh should have perhaps videoed the TV as it was, but it'd take about 10 minutes before it froze anyway. But what it'd do, if you were watching YouTube for example, it would slow down and buffer continually. Uh, and then the menus wouldn't work, nothing, you couldn't turn it off even. You'd keep pressing the off button, the TV would register the signal that it's picking up from the remote control, but it won't function, the TV just won't do anything, it is inoperable. Uh, and then after you give up in disgust, it sort of turns itself off after five minutes. But anyway, the TV seems to be working fine, it's updating now, so all good. Thank you very much. 